Well, it's been a while since I did something interesting, but today I've done something interesting. Uh, right here we have a 2005, 2006-ish uh, Mini Cooper uh, speedometer, tachometer, and uh, chrono pack. As you can see, there's some lights and stuff blinking and, uh, you know, whatever. Um, but everything is, is working, which is kind of cool. I don't mind the fuel gauge that doesn't work. Um, so if we run over here, look at our setup. Basically, we're just running power and ground from that guy. And then we got our can lines hooked up going into the computer. And on our computer, we've got uh, canalizer running, doing some cool stuff. Um, so I looked at this guy's paper here. I want to give him some credit. That guy. And uh, he kind of helped me out just getting everything uh, running as far as messages and whatnot. Um, but if we go back here, I found some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I believe that's the right message. Yep, so that's the message for the speedometer. So if I set that to, I don't know, and let's say AA. Uh, it moved the speedo a little bit. Maybe more than I wanted it to. 1.5. Uh, 5.0. It moves it. I mean, you can see that. 4-2. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Um, then, just turn that off. We won't be needing that. Um, go over to the tachometer here. Same thing. I have the message list. Let's set it to 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, it moves it. 8-5. Oh, lost my bite. 8-5. 8-5. There it is. 9-9. Nine, nine. I don't know. FD, yeah, I mean, it works. It's kind of cool. So all of that was kind of laid out in uh, in that gentleman's uh, mess, or his uh, paper, which is all well and cool. Uh, and then I went a step further and found some other stuff. Um, so the chrono pack here um, has the coolant gauge, oil pressure, oil temperature, and the fuel gauge. I haven't figured out the fuel gauge yet, but I'm working on that. But I was too excited and wanted to show some stuff off. Um, so... This bite right here is the pressure gauge. I have it set to DD right now. So if I go to like, I don't know, 5-0, I see it goes down. Let's set it to 6-0. Yeah, it goes up a little bit. Let's try C1. Yeah, it goes up. So then, of course, 0-0, zero, zero, it goes completely away and your car explodes because you have no oil pressure. Um, but either way, that's kind of cool. Uh, the other address, the other message I found was the temperature gauge, which is by four. Right now it's set to A5, so let's go to mm, nine one. Yeah, it goes down. Eight zero, goes down more, five zero. Yeah, so it, that's the, the oil temperature. I don't know about the correlations of stuff yet, like what actual units it converts into, but we can move gauges, and that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, still working on the fuel gauge, um, but this is pretty cool. Oh, also, something else to note that's kind of neat. I don't know if you noticed it before when I was doing this, but if you move the speedometer with this can message, say 5.5, five, um, the odometer actually counts up. So that's a genuine uh, genuine message right there, which is kind of interesting. And you can see that the odometer will, uh, will count up eventually. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. I mean... Shut that back down. I can also make it blink a bunch of lights. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't really know what value that has, but, you know, something there. I don't know which one is which yet, but who cares? It blinks. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a video.